I'm gonna show you how to make a fireplace chase cap. Now the customer wants a small flange on this one. Normally these are two and a half to three inches, but we can make them any size that you want. This is gonna be the flange for the skirt on the chase cap. My customers call these in to me or bring them in to me and I lay it out and I make it for them and I'm going to show you how to do it. This is 54 inches. My rule is 48 inches so I'm going to go 48 plus 6, another inch and a half for the skirt on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing here. 48, add 6 to it which makes 54. Add an inch and a half for the skirt on that side. Now I'm gonna draw a line. And this is gonna be the cut line. I'm gonna cut this off. And we can make these anyway. This is a 26 gauge one. We can make them all the way down to 20 gauge out of stainless steel, copper, painted metal, something that is zinc coated and pre-primed so that all you have to do is paint it yourself. But the majority of them are out of 24 gauge. Now I'm gonna draw and lay out the skirt for the long side. Again, it's inch and a half. Normally this is two and a half to three inches. But this is just a little smaller. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the width of it. This one happens to be 32 and a half, 32 and a half inches. So I'm gonna scribe a line here. I'm gonna add an inch and a half to it for the other skirt. So that's all four skirts have been laid out. I'm gonna get a measurement. It's 12 and a half. That's what I'm gonna cut off. I'm gonna cut off 12 and a half inches and then it'll be cut to size. Now it's cut to size. I'm gonna trim my flanges. And then I'm gonna turn it around and lay out the other, the final skirt before we put the hole in it, the circle, the part that's gonna, that the flue pipe's gonna go out of, that's gonna carry the smoke out. Okay, so now I'm ready to Turn it around. And lay out the other skirt. Inch and a half, just like the other three. Okay. There we have it. I'm going to scribe my line and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut out those corners and you'll see why in a little bit when we finish it and break these skirts down 90 degrees. Okay. Now after I do this, I'm going to lay out where the circle is. This one happens to be an easy one. It's right in the middle. 
but they can be anywhere in this chase cap. This one just happens to be in the middle. So I'll take half of 54, which is 27, and I will scribe a line, and then I'll scribe another 27 inch line, and then I will take half of what the width is, and that will put that circle right in the middle. Okay. And it's 32 and a quarter, so that's 16, or 32 and a half, so that's 16 and a quarter to the center. And I'll just go ahead and double check it by moving that up there and making sure that that's right. I'll just go ahead and double check to make sure I got it right before I cut it out. Now I'm going to show you how to draw out a circle and how to cut it out. This one happens to be a 13 inch blue pipe that's going to be going through this chase cap. So I have my circle drawer here set on 13 inches. I'm going to scribe out a 13 inch hole. Now you're going to see how I cut it out. These are right-handed Dutchmans, but you can use them to cut backwards if you know how. Now after I get this cut out, I'm going to put in what's called a collar, which I am going to spot weld and then solder. Now I've already went ahead and pre-made my 13 inch collar that I'm going to put in here, but the next video I make I will show you how to make a collar. Okay, now I'm going to cross break it and then I will put my collar in. This is just for strength, to add a little bit of strength to it, like you would cross break, break a piece of ductwork. So I go corner to corner. Now I'm going to do it the other way. Corner to corner. Flatten it down and then I'm going to put my circle in there. And when I put them in, I use a rounded hammer so that it doesn't damage the chase cap very much. So I put it in like that. That one's going to fit pretty well. I won't have to do anything. I will just make sure it's good all the way around. And it is. Now you can see me pop well. I have my helper there, give me a hand. But when it's this small, I can do it by myself. And over the years since I've been doing it, I have installed hundreds of them, put them on myself, and I've made thousands of them. I don't know how many, maybe 10,000. But I've made a whole lot of chase caps. Okay, we're going to stop and I'm going to get this prepared to solder it and then I will show you how we do that.